Now we're going to visit with the Queens County Detention Center and Lamont Cook to hear what's going on at the detention center during these rough times. I'm Warden Lamont Cook. I've been with the county operating its uh, Department of Corrections uh, since 1987. I've seen a lot in these many years and I know that um, many times when we look at the criminal justice process, the courts, the police departments, sheriff departments, the prosecutor, uh, we tend to not think about what goes on once all those processes have taken place and what happens to these individuals once they become incarcerated. Here we have had to deal with that uh, and balancing that out with the COVID situation, uh, it's been quite a task to keep up with all of this. When I first started in criminal justice many years ago, we did not have the uh, intense involvement with uh, the drugs and, and opioids as we do today. And one of the things that uh, we find that even though these individuals are incarcerated with us for whatever period of time, we still have to deal with their problems. They still have to be treated. They still come in here with, with, with issues. Uh, we even have problems with them attempting to get these substances into the facility. So we have to monitor all of these things. We do have individuals that relapse. They have uh, uh, issues when they can't adjust to being in an enclosed environment. We've had to deal with individuals who have come in and they have overdosed. We've had to treat that. We've had to take some to the hospital. Uh, it's kind of an uh, unusual situation when you look at the opioid uh, thing, when you look at the streets and what's going on there and what happens once these individuals are incarcerated. All of the 23 counties in this state are dealing with that situation, trying to manage these individuals, especially those with co-occurring disorders. Uh, when I talk about co-occurring disorders, we're talking about individuals who have uh, mental health problems and behavioral problems because of the drugs and opioids that they use. So it's, it's really a balancing act that we face, especially in small facilities like mine. How do we treat these individuals and get them ready to go back out on the streets? There are limited programs here. We do work with the courts to see that these individuals may get into a treatment facility, but those beds are pretty rare. And sometimes they're here uh, months at a time before there's something available for them to go to. And other times, uh, depending on the situation, we release them back out into the community. We do try to find some community resources for them but a fair amount of times they go right back out into the community and face the same challenges that they did, which put them back in here uh, and, and being incarcerated like they have been. So, you know, it's a, it's a struggle at times for us, the officers here and the staff, to treat these individuals. We do have a medical program here. We do have a mental health program here that we try to help these individuals with. We've had some successes as well as failures. So, you know, this is a situation where we need to work together, all branches of criminal justice, the courts, the police, the sheriff's department, and other resources that we have out here, the health department, to try to balance out these situations and get these people the help that they need. But unfortunately, those, those services and, and resources are not enough to deal f out here for everyone. So I just wanted folks to be aware that we do see this here at the detention center. It's going on in the prisons. We do meet regularly, and when I say we, the criminal justice people that are involved in corrections. We do deal with trying to find solutions as a group and as individuals. So, you know, this is gonna be ongoing. Uh, we just have to figure out how we minimize the issues that, that occur with these individuals that are incarcerated. So hopefully, you know, we can come together and work on these things and, uh, you know, make the community better 